a lot of players are understanding what they need to do to be able to fight against Boomy's Diana. We see the Diana opening up here as we go into game Three, number one. Two, I hear that Miami Dome yeah. music churning, but we're here on Mammoth Fortress. Boomy playing that Diana, that is what he's been known for. That's what we usually see him pick for these tournament matches. But Simba with that Val, it's gauntlets, it's swords, it's fast running signatures. Fast running signatures, I'm interested if before we saw Simba spot dodging a lot of ground pounds, a lot of signatures, a lot of things that most players would either just have to predict or completely avoid. Maybe we'll be able to see more instances of this in this game, but Boomy already Boomy just There's catching all these landings. Signature. Oh my gosh, such a massive lead here. And now this is really where Blasters excel. You get to threaten over that corner, forcing Boom, uh, forcing Simba to go high, and Boomy just has such a monumental oh. damage lead. Look out, you don't want to get hit by those signatures. So, so there was a multiple reasons why that was clever there, besides it being Diana at the ledge with a down signature. The weapon was right in front of him, so he was thinking maybe Simba wanted to go for that. Mm. Charge the down signature, Simba didn't give it to him, but still the offstage battle ensues, and Boomy manages to find the first stock, and maybe like two unarmed neutral airs worth of damage has been tagged onto Boomy. And two downers into a row to a Sarah sideline. Are Sarah you Boomy kidding? doing Just so much damage away with this one. Boomy's blaster strings are absolutely unreal. So advanced. I mean, you you don't really see it from any other player how much he has lapped out different dodge punishes. Oh, and that down air catching Simba out of that jumping side air from the gauntlets. Guns definitely just destroying the gauntlets and all oh, the side lane, the neutral sig. We see so many Diana players going for that. It's definitely not true, but it's so fast that if you're not immediately ready for it, dodging at the first possible frame, oh. you're going to find yourself falling victim to that move. Side sig just barely dodged out of the way by Simba. Sider comes out and goes for that recovery, but Simba just goes low and the neutral sig hits. Is that going to kick off the top? Very high neutral sig coming up from Val, but not enough just yet. But Boomy dodges directly forward instead of diagonally, doesn't touch the wall of Mammoth Fortress, falls to his death, and Simba evens up the stocks 2 to 2. All right, he's kept those stocks even, but he is definitely on the back foot here, deep in the red. He needs to get some serious strengths, or maybe just an edge guard here. No. All right, a little bit of damage punishes Boomy for using that recovery. But, I mean, the risk-reward was so in Boomy's favor as he goes up a stock. And now Boomy, like you said, up a stock, same damage differential. Picks up the, the bow and starts a little, nice little string there. Simba's able to turn around. Picks up the gauntlets. Good little nair goes to the ground pump. Boomy turns it around with the side air. Will he get a second side air into the stage? No, Simba recovering up the side of Mammoth Fortress. Sally comes out and Boomy just waits, wanting to see if Simba was going to dodge in, maybe jump in, but the gravity cancel down light. Doesn't lead to anything else in the falling. Weapon toss, Sare, Neutralite, Boomy going for that pivot Neutralite off the guns, trying to catch Simba as he goes down. We're seeing so many of these gravity cancel downlights from Simba not leading it into anything. Man, you see Simba really just trying to run into these blasters, get into that dead zone. They don't really hit near the user, but Boomy's movement is just so smooth. He's always sliding. Oh, the clash out of on the, the down air! We saw the gun down air getting interrupted by that, the gauntlet recovery. Tries to go for that jump read. Interesting little exchange there coming out from Boomy, and Boomy looking for these nares. Neutralite, something a lot is going to be able to kill Simba here when it comes to, to signatures, but a recovery from the edge catches Boomy walking a little bit too far, and evens up the stocks one to one. That's right, Boomy's so got out. quite a bit of a lead here. Simba's going to need, oh my gosh, oh almost no. carrying him off the top. But Boomy went really high himself, and when that gun recovery misses, you are stuck in the full animation of that recovery. Falls down, the down oh is no. Boomy is gone. No, he no, gets, he the, gets the, the hit. Recovery. Simba gets the dive kick again. Gravity cancel down into recovery, doesn't get the ground pound. Boomy just barely on the edge of losing that first game to an amazing offstage combo. But the, the gun recovery activating the chase dodge for Boomy being able to barely touch the wall. But Simba found so much damage. Recovery comes oh. out. Boomy finding the recovery at the end of the game, and Simba... Looking so terrifying. That's not the first time that we've seen Boomy in a lead all game about to throw it away off stage. The same thing happened against Double Dime, only Double Dime being able to take the game. And we see off stage here. Look at that gravity cancel down light. Boomy so falling with those dares close. so greedily in that recovery. It was. It, that, the shot wasn't even dead on. Oh, Simba. So Man, close to being able to make that happen. What was that last stock? Simba that last stock was Simba's reactions being put to the test and nearly succeeding. Man, in what certainly looked like a match that Boomy was running away with, Simba just said, mm-mm, not yet. Three, two, Boomy one, is up one in the set, but Simba showing that he can go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Game two begins, and Simba already opening up strong. Two nares and a recovery being put onto Boomy, already giving him a bigger lead than he had when he lost his first stock in game number one. 
Boomy going for Sarah's, but Simba actually staying right in front of his face. If you're standing in front of the gun user when the Sarah's thrown out, the gun, the Sarah won't hit. Yep, they have that dead zone right near the user, and Simba getting just Ooh. inside to get a massive gauntlet combo. Going for that downer afterwards, Boomy finding his own downer, but Whoa. this time no clash with the, the gauntlet recovery. D light into side light. Oh! Unarmed, or rather, gauntlet, gauntlet side light into recovery. Gauntlet, the recovery just dodged barely the neutral sig. Oh my gosh, own. reading the dodge down? Wow. Amazing Simba. punish by Simba, getting that recovery. And even though he lost game one, it feels like he's carrying that explosive momentum that he had in that combo that nearly brought it back into game number two. And he's taking the lead in the way that Boomy was looking. Now Boomy trying to find these downers and the side airs. Recoveries are coming out. The, the Like guns, amazing weapons. Incredible range. Uh-oh. Sarah's end up killing Simba, but the thing about guns and bows is that like, you're committed to the moves as you're using them much more than, say, some oh, gauntlet yeah, moves. they have a long duration. Or sword attacks. So if Simba's really careful about what Boomy's trying to use to, to ledge trap Simba with, like, say, like, sometimes you'll see gun neutral light come out into down light, into Sare. If you can avoid this, if you see them dodging up, oh, dodged up past the downer, punished him during the down light, weapon toss in the ground, pound to connect the Sare, hits him to the stage. Simba manages to make it back with another Sare, connects and that downer right at the end of the available hitboxes of that move, connecting the Boomy. Boomy going for that pivot in air. Man, Simba doing such a great job just getting inside these blaster ranges. Boomy having to readjust, recalibrate. What is that spacing that I need? You can't find it. Simba's on top of you. All right, so let's change up the weapons. Boomy unarmed. Ooh. Downline the Cider comes out. No recovery. Finisher with a weapon toss. Boomy has to avoid it to the right side. And Simba's looking for those neutral lights to be able to catch Boomy. But Romance is recover high. Simba throwing out a downline a little bit too early. Weapon toss makes Boomy go low. Will he go for the weapon toss? He does. But Boomy dodges perfectly past the ledge of Mammoth Fortress. Finds an oh. It doesn't matter. Simba gets the recovery off the top. Not as big of a lead as before, but a lead nonetheless. Simba's up 2-1 to one here against Boomy in game number 2. Oh my gosh. Boomy answering the in best, kind. The best option out of unarmed downline. Yeah. Period. Yeah, you gravity cancel that neutral heavy. It is insanely strong. It will KO sooner than just a normal recovery. Now, Boomy follows these stairs. Nice little stair side light. Neutral light goes high, but the Mammoth, Pla Mammoth Fortress platform moving a little bit too far to the right to allow Boomy to get the punish. A little dash jump nair Ooh. to nair into neutral light from the bow. Tries to get the landing with the side stick. That definitely would have spelled death for Simba that far on the right of Mammoth Fortress, but Simba wary of Boomy's. Finisher. We've seen Boomy use that side stick to finish spot double dime spot earlier damage. on. Damage build going even all around. A tight last stock, similar to, to last game. Let's see if Simba can take this one. Simba recovers all the way over to the right side of the map. Ooh, the gun side stick, something that we rarely see Boomy ever use on Diana. <gasps> Grab oh. hits! He uses the dodge early. Second grab Another one. Connects. Simba tying up the set. And despite all of the crazy stuff happening off stage, it just took two good ground pound reads to cause Boomy to lose that last stock and bring us to a game three. It's tied up one to one. No 3 0 happening here on this loser side of top eight. Boomy and Simba are neck and neck. Man, this, this matchup is such a delight. I mean, we got to see it in Grand Finals Winter Championship. We see it here again, except now this is do or die time. This is loser side top eight. We see Simba doing a little bit of a mid-set celebration there. It's so nice to be able to see that in game one, right? He didn't look at that as like, oh, I lost that. He looked at it as like, I was that close. It's time to keep going. Game number two, it shows up, and Blackguard Keep is going to be coming up. Boomy loves being able to use the left side of the stage to be able to get some very early KOs with Diana. Down signatures, neutral signatures, side six, all of these carry people off and have incredible force. Even but, in I mean, we've seen Simba get some crazy KOs with that with side the, platform as well. Yes, the gauntlet side sig. Also using the wall to bounce them back into the platform to hit the side sig again. Simba definitely no stranger to how to be able to use this map to his advantage. And the stairs already beginning, and we're seeing this advantage going over to Simba first, but the Ooh. recovery. Hits Simba straight on. Staying underneath that neutral signature. Boomy forced to dodge out away from that weapon. Besides, it comes out. Lingers way too long. Simba's able to punish it, but he was unarmed. The punish wasn't that strong. Down air, two down Ooh. airs, and that will do it. Just the accuracy of the sniping.
that bow down air. I mean, it is a thin line. Yes, the diagonal gives you like more coverage than a lot of attacks in the game, but it is still so hard to place. Ooh, recovery from Boomy too. Nair goes for that downline Simba, nearly killing killing Boomy off the top. A little bit early around that percent that Boomy was in. Now it wouldn't be too early as he's taking a lot of damage on the way back down. But ooh, oh, Simba, the Grammy cancel neutral sing under the stage. The call out. And what an amazing neutral stick it would have been if it had KO, just barely not doing so, but the neutral comes out. Can Boomy still make it back? Just enough. And Simba not having a weapon at his disposal to find the ground pound that he did in game number two. Boomy makes it back, finds even more damage onto Simba here. Neutral light into side air. Oh, he can't get the grab and cancel neutral light. Simba can't find anything. He's trying to finish him off on arm, but he needs to be able to get the sword of the neutral light. Will it do it? No, Boomy still living, using that dodge early on so they can refresh and he stares him. Will he get the KO? No, recovery does not connect with the the side light off the side of the stage, traveling down into the stair. Is that going to be it for Simba's last stock? No, no, he just touched the very bottom of that wall. Now Boomy posturing on the Blackguard, keep using the platform, and then the neutral sig sliding down from the platform. The clash. Simba doesn't have a weapon. He doesn't have anything to throw against Boomy. He's challenging Boomy off stage with blasters, and Boomy's not going to fall for any unarmed down air, unarmed ground pound. Chase dodge activated by the Nair, touching the platform for the jumps in the stair. Does it? Boomy on the verge of death time and time again, and yet still holding on to his third stock. The recovery comes out. It gets the KO. He doesn't care. That should have been gone a long time ago. Simba's still down a stock. Yeah, I mean, Boomy is really just running away with this one. Look at that. Even just getting the unarmed strings for a ton of damage. Simba's, he needs to find an early KO. He's got to get one of those serious edge guards to take Boomy out in yellow if he wants to bring this back. Ooh, staying in and outside of those dead zones. Oh, he's, he's carrying Boomy around. When Boomy uses his recoveries, he can't stop. The, the movement as he goes upwards. Oh. He has to be carried up, and the D-Light recovery comes out. Neutral again. Oh my it does it. gosh. All the way up on that top platform, KOing earlier than usual. Simba with that neutral signature, he's back in it. Simba was entirely vertical that entire that second stock. Downers and recoveries were the entire name of the game, and he ended it with the neutral signature, the battle signature that we see kill the least, being used at the point of the map where it was most effective. Recovery comes out, will he get, no, Boomy finds his own there. Neutral light dodged out of the way by Simba. Reaction time's coming into play. Side light comes down to the downer, Simba's off stage. Boomy goes for the side Whoa. signature, and he gets punished, D-Light Sair. Simba has him off stage, and the side sign hits. Get Boomy like another one! Simba going up in the set, stealing that game from the jaws of defeat. What an unbelievable... This kid is crazy on final stock every GWK. single time. Boomy was up 3-1. That, that was it a It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This is Simba. Look He's at the this. king of the jungle. The Alliance there. That is the best punish they could have possibly thought. And the premature jump. The same way that we saw Sandstorm taking out Noel on offstage situations. Only this time using the properties of Val's sword side signature. If that move does not connect with the ground, you get that little dip down. The circular motion of the sword being able to spike opponents in that perfect trajectory to be able to get those early KOs. And we see Simba do it twice in a row to be able to clutch another game. Man, every single game, Simba is just so clutch on that final stop. It's like unlocking his final form. Boomy is definitely not happy about how that last game went, feeling that that should have been his. This 2-1 lead should be in his position, but instead Simba is now on the verge of being able to take this best of five and knock Boomy out at seventh. Down light downer, puts Boomy up the side of the stage, and that's side oh. This time, Boomy waiting for it, finds one downer, the down light connects it to a stair, Simba low on jumps, will he go for the ground pound? No, the dare hits, bounces him into the stage, does he have enough? No, the recovery numbers are back. If you get knocked into the stage, your jumps don't come back. Yeah, you need to touch of your own volition. Somebody scraping your face against the wall ain't gonna do it. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit hard to to take a breather when you do, you can't, when all, the th all you're breathing in is the side of Mammoth Fortress. Boomy, however, has been in this lead before, even a bigger lead, and Simba still wins, so I really don't want to say anything yet. We got to watch how this plays out as Boomy putting up that neutral light gets punished by Simba on the way down. Yeah, Grab Simba down hunting light. for the unarmed. It's got a lot of that stacked coverage. It can get inside these blasters, and Simba is doing a phenomenal job at that. Neutral light comes out, and Boomy has Simba on the side of the stage. Down air trying to read that jump back in, but Simba just Lands on the platform, dashes behind him, kicks him off the side in a D-Light stair. Will he go for the side thing again? No. Knowing that his jumps were low. Ooh, that dash jump without a ground pound. Just dash jump fast fell into a position where he could just scare Boomy into making an option. It's that Take threatening, it. jockeying for position. Simba again, getting that recovery, but it's too low to KO. Sending Boomy Ooh. wide. The haymaker in the air is going to do it. 
Simba evening things up two to two. Boomy without a weapon. Simba doing a great job of starving, waiting for a spawn, but it's in the direction of where Simba was guarding. That downlight did not catch Boomy on the way down. There connects. Chase dodge. He was putting himself in a position to get a downlight to start to be able to put even more damage in. But these dash forward oh, silence are working the out. Dodge Simba. punish. So much extra damage on that one. Boomy lands with that down air. Simba ready to avoid the stair follow-up. Jumping stair from Boomy connects. Weapon toss goes wide. Dodging around Boomy, trying to find the opening. Oh, side punishes that dodges. That side signature, it lasts so long, you cannot spot dodging. Yes, the first time. Now, and now what's crazy about that is that Simba actually reacted to the side signature, right? But the reaction that he chose, that spot dodge, doesn't work out. That's maybe why Boomy's been throwing out so many side signatures. It's like, yes, you're going to be reacting, but if you react to that in the way that I expect you to, it'll result in a kill, Ooh. but Simba catching his landing. Weapon and toss gets weapon. by the recovery. Oh. Tournament right. stock for Boomy. Barely a lead on Simba, and we've seen Simba come back from multiple stock deficits when they're even. Who knows what can happen? Unarmed, already beginning. Oh Downlight in the ground pound. Boomy still going completely unarmed. Sarah hits. Oh, Sarah comes out. There's a plethora of options that Boomy has here because he goes for the downer. He doesn't want to risk going off stage again and losing that stock. Cider connects. He's just going to let Simba recover. He knows that he just has to wait. Simba tosses the sword away, goes all the way high. The dive kick on the way back down. Absolutely massive lead. Boomy just looking for that KO. He only needs the Neutral solid. Neutral gets punished. Tap. No jumps coming up from Simba here, staying to the ground, knowing that Diana does not have the best grounded kill options. Down lane to Sare, does it. Yes, Boomy tying up the set. We're going to game five. Game five it is. No legend swaps the entire way. Our final map, what will it be? Mammoth Fortress was seen there, and it worked decently in the Boomy's favor, but at this point, it just feels like Boomy needs to not be greedy off the side of the stage. I think every time that he has gone for some, like, falling down air without jumps or a side signature where it clearly wasn't punishing a move, it led to his death. And it wasn't like a Ragnar side sig punish to death. It was like a crazy string of things that said, you use this option to give me the upper hand and I am going to show you what I can do with it. Simba, deservingly so, being in game number five here against the best player in the world. All right, and we are going back to Mammoth Forge. You saw Simba hover over it for a moment thinking maybe I'll ban this one, but deciding, no, I'm good with running it back right there. All right, Boomy first one to grab the weapon, Simba arming up shortly after, but Boomy punishing him for it. So much damage going out with those bow strings. Sides it comes out, and that's what I'm talking about, Simba ready to punish, but not a big enough punish. Boomy is actually going to uh -oh. come back in a second, side kit. Sides it comes in this time. Perfect not avoided. the weapon, staying just outside the, the haymaker. Goes low. Calling Doesn't get the recovery. Bluff with the oh, that pound. neutral sig just barely avoided. Simba is just skirting around every one of these kill options for Boomy, but Boomy's pressure is unrelenting. Recovery comes out. Boomy gets the side. Oh. oh, the neutral signature. Dashed forward, pivoted, catch Simba in the air. When Simba puts out moves like those gauntlet recoveries, you can't. It's not as steerable as say, like a sword recovery or an orb recovery, right? Yeah. You have to go in that same direction. And when you fall a little bit afterwards, that's when that Diana Neutral is the best at being able to punish, especially when you're elevated by the platform of Mammoth Fortress. Simba, however, wants to make these things really even really quickly. Bring Weapon up toss down guard. here. No. Boomy makes it back. Oh, Doesn't get the my jump. gosh. All right, so Boomy with these blasters. We've been seeing him use the neutral signature to fantastic effect. It's because they cover so much horizontal space in their light kit, you want to approach from that diagonal option. But Boomy has the perfect quicksilver shot for it. Boomy trying to catch landings with satellites, but Simba's just playing right around the... Oh, a nice little neutral light, but the neutral sig catches and kills from center stage. All right, so Simba on a little bit of the back foot, but not too far behind. Down and connects and falls on neutral air. Boomy finding the very oh, end of that no. down into the neutral stick. We saw that combo earlier on within the set. And the Sare into down air, comboing off the side of Mammoth Fortress. Simba on tournament stock now. Boomy in the biggest lead that he's had since game. Well, actually, that's not true. He had a two stock lead. So now that I think about it, it's, it's a lead. <laughs> I mean, Simba. you never know with Simba. It can be over in an instant. Boomy trying to get a dodge upwards read with that Nair. Just juggling weapons. Weapon starving, this is important. The longer that he keeps both those weapons active, the longer it delays the spawn of the next weapon. It, it, I mean, it forced Simba to have to approach. He had to do something Two if he wanted in a to row. get weapons. But Simba finds that satellite, but all this damage that Boomy's putting on is on Simba's last stock. Boomy still not getting the lower end of the trades here, and he's still a stock up. Simba looking for that recovery, not punished by Boomy, but the downer comes down. Drops to the platform, another dare, and a Sare puts Boomy off stage. Puts Simba off stage. 
Oh, he does it. Oh, he does Boomy is going to be moving on, eliminating Simba in a tight five-game set. Three to two. And Simba...